Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another ceramic tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have suggestions on one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in jibbles below. That would be the comment section for new people. And I will capture it, give you a shout out when I get around to it. Like this week is Bungie Tab List Plus as requested by all these fantastic people here. And it is made by CodeCrafter47. It is a very slick plugin. It's a little bit... It can be daunting, but the author has done a lot to help you guys get started. So we're going to hit some of that. We're going to mention some of the prerequisites right now. You need to have Bungie Cord Build 995 Plus. This only really works with Bungie Cord. This runs in your Bungie Cord plugin folder, which is really cool. And then you have another file, which is a bucket bridge, so that you can use groups and vanish no packet and all that stuff from your servers itself, which is really cool. It does require Java 8, and the minimum RAM for your Bungie cord, if you have 25 players, is 100 megabytes, so keep that in mind. So you, probably, you shouldn't run into that problem, then it's uh, 250 megabytes for 50 players, 500 for 100 players, and then 1 gigabyte for 250 players. So keep that in mind when you're building your Bungie cord and using this plugin. That could vary depending on what you're running. Now, the permissions for this is really, really slick, and if you have that bucket bridge tie-in that you don't really have to do anything on your bungee cord you can do bungee cord perms if you want um i'm just doing this through permissions x so that's pretty slick the perms are bungee tab list dot plus it allows the user to do reload and then you have bungee tab list dot or list plus dot hide oh my goodness and that gives you the ability to remove yourself from a list or hide from the list kind of like vanish no packet all that stuff and um, that's pretty much it. Let's, I'll show you guys what this looks like. So basically we've, we've got a custom, uh, tab list here. Now keep, uh, ooh, oh, over here, pay attention to a couple things on here that I've modified. What one is the server names. The actual server names are not Patreon server or tutorial server. They are tutorial and Patreon. So I've modified that in the configuration. So the, the plugin then, interprets that also the p and the l in front of each user is the server prefix also done in the configuration we'll talk about that i've modified the uh, footer to be that and then you can see that the rank is tutorial and not default so you can see that the rank is pulling from my pecs if you do uh pecs cause uh user cause you can see that my my uh group is tutorial so your ping and it's pulled in our balance as well as the time the local time i think that's my actual local time and that is correct so it'll be the time of the server and that's pretty cool so you can see that evil doppelgamer is over there on the patreon server so if we uh switched over there you can see that now we are filled in next to them um, on the player list so you can change some of that stuff as well how that list gets filled in as well in the configuration there's a lot of examples the authors put out there i would recommend just copying and pasting those and modifying them there's some great great examples for whatever your need is and then you can modify them to your liking let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration file and see how this works i'll also show you a custom uh tab list here at the end of this so now you can see that we are on our Bungie Cord server. So we're going to go into our plugins and then we're going to go into Bungie Tab List Plus and then we're going to open this configuration file. This is going to be the first thing that we're going to take a look at. Now, the author's done a fantastic job. So many comments. I love it. You can uh, lower or increase the update interval. You can have it automatically update when the player joins or leaves or server change. You can change, you can set a character limit. So the one thing that we do want to change. Um, and you don't necessarily need to change it, but if you are running, um, if you're having some troubles with your permissions being pulled in, you might want to change this to bucket or bungee perms or bungee, depending on what kind of permissions, uh, take it off auto. If you want, um, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Here's the server alias. Like I said, he has a few built out automatically. I just added this Patreon and then the lobby server, which is the tutorial server. So this references your bungee cord, um, server name list. So be sure to keep use that. 
So you can see lobby and then tutorial server is the name of that server. Now you can also do the same for world aliases, which is really cool. If you want to use this world variable in your tab list, and then here's your server prefixes. So if you use this server prefix variable in your tab list, it will then fill in right there. You can also pull in prefixes um, if you want to do that. So you can also exclude servers. You can, um, automatically add fake players if you want with fake player names so people think it's more active than it actually is so that's kind of cool a little cheatsy doodle i think you can hide servers exclude servers hide players all that stuff if you want you could change the time zone of uh the server so that that time is displayed so let's take a look at the the tab list that we have built so this default one is built by default and we'll show you that tutorial one here in a moment. So once again, lots of comments, which is fantastic. The main one is show to all. You can actually show this to players, to groups, to servers, to anybody who's on 1.7 or below or 1.8 or above because this actually supports all of them. But there's some aspects of this plugin that don't work in 1.7. So you can actually just allow, you can have a, a whole different tab list for 1.7 and below you can change the priority so the higher the priority the higher that it is so if it's a one priority and a two priority for one person it will you take the two priority here's the animation um, that we have and then the animation interval if you want you can change the footer which by default says powered by bungee lit list plus you can change that in there you can actually just turn off the footer if you don't want to have that you can have the default ping changed um, which you see that on the side there you can uh i think this is false by by default because anybody 1.8 and under this would have trouble with tab size group players by server which i think you pretty much want to do unless you want them all in one list now here's your group lines and then your player lines. So here's where we added the server prefix in front of the tab name for the player. And then, um, so this group lines is, is the, uh, um, where it fills in the player. So fill players is there. You'll get to see this on the other example I have lined up here. And then this is how the tab list looks overall. So each line, like I said, there's actually, you're probably better off going and looking at the custom templates that the author has and then copying those and then modifying those. Like this one has a bit different layout. This one actually separates each column to be its own server, which is pretty cool. And this is just copy and pasted. I changed the name of a couple things and it it's up and running so you can see we're going to actually change this so it shows to me um, you probably want to set this to be grouped so a couple things you could do maybe you can have your admins have their own tab list that would show like client version of the, of the users you can have it show more information about each user on the server as well so priority is two so obviously that's going to take precedence we're not really going to change the player lines the one thing i did have to change is i had to do fill players colon and then it's going to fill players from the patreon server that wasn't set by default i think that was a survival by default and then i changed the name here and that's pretty much it um like i said a lot of comments you're better off i feel like i'm repeating myself but i just want to make it clear just go copy a template and make it to be what you need it to be Let's hop back in the game and I'll show you guys how this. Okay, so here we are back in the game. Now you can see that my tablet has not actually updated. We want to reload the tablet. And there it is, reload complete. So you can see the tablet has got each server on its own column there. So if we go over to that one, now you can see that moved us over into that column. You have the animation. I actually disabled the animation just so you could see it a little bit different. And then you can modify this to be whatever you want. So like I said, Real pretty simple actually, but it does allow for a lot of stuff that you can really get into some crazy stuff using variables and all that stuff. The author has a lot of fantastic templates. Just look at the, his examples, copy them, paste them in, modify them, and you're up and running. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe because that helps me out for helping you guys out. This is Kyle's reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.
Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Just wanted to, to remind you guys all, I do have a Patreon set up. Go ahead, check it out. Link is in the jibbles for Patreon. It's basically patreon.com slash cause for Christ. Thank you so much for all the support. Even if you're not able to support monetarily, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing. That's some fantastic ways to support what I'm doing here.